Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is the Promise Try-On Haul of Adenola Activewear. So I recently picked up seven pieces. So I first got to try it on just the other week when we went to London, we were in Selfridges. I always wanted to try this brand. It looked really up my alley. If you've never heard of the brand before, it's definitely activewear you can wear to the gym and a lot of their other pieces, like their sweatshirts, like what I'm wearing, it's more that athleisure wear that you can wear running errands. Um, it's just like comfy, kind of like elegant elevated basic type of clothing. Just for reference, I'm 5'9". I'm definitely like a thicker, curvier body type for sure. I have a larger chest. I usually wear a size large in sports bras, say from Nike. In Lululemon, in a lot of tops, I would say I take a size eight and their bottoms in Lululemon Alliance, I wear a size six because they're stretchy and they're more compressive leggings, I wear a size eight US. And I would say in like Levi's jeans, I wear a size 30. So if that's helpful for you guys. Overall, I'm really impressed with this brand. This will definitely be one of my new favorites. Unfortunately, a lot of their stuff is always sold out, which I can see why, because it really is good. I'm very impressed with the quality so far. So the first sweatshirt I picked up, this is in a size medium. It is their open neck collar sweatshirt. I liked this because it was in a light heather gray and it does say Adenola, but in very faint writing. So I like that, that it's not heavily branded for this one. And you can wear the collar flip down like this, or you can flip it up. It definitely is stiff enough that the fabric will stick up like that if you prefer to wear your stuff like that. And what I like is that the bottom is kind of ruched up like that. So it just has like that puffy tucked under look. So I would say the medium is pretty oversized. I purposely shrank this because it was actually a little bit too big on me. So for their sweatshirts, I find you definitely don't have to size up. They already come pretty oversized for the most part. There is a big warning on the hang tag. You're not supposed to wash their clothing in a temperature over 30 degrees. So be mindful because my washing machine, just the normal temperature temperature is always set at 40. So just be very careful about that if you don't want their stuff to shrink and wash everything inside out and hang it to dry. So even this, you're not supposed to put in the dryer. I did to shrink it. So just keep in mind, this is a size medium and it came quite a bit bigger than this. I will warn you though, it did shrink quite a bit in the dryer. So that could be good or bad. I mean, if your size is sold out and you're kind of in between sizes, you could size up and then always shrink it down, but definitely be careful careful in the wash or dryer, but the material is really nice and thick and heavy. It's much better quality than I thought. And the price point is pretty good. And on the inside, it's really, it's soft and cozy. I really, I like this. And I think the neckline is just a little bit different for a sweatshirt. I don't have anything like this. So the second sweatshirt I picked up was this one. It's like their varsity sweatshirt. Unfortunately at Selfridges, they only had one of these left and this is a size large. I asked um, the lady to go check in the back for a medium and there wasn't any left. So I did get the size large because I did really like it. I again had to shrink this because it was really oversized. Now I don't mind the size, but just there was too much fabric to really wear a jacket over top of it. But I, I do like this. But again, I would stick to your regular size because it's already oversized. So my ideal size in both of these would have been a medium just for reference. Again, it's super thick quality and the price point for this I felt was very reasonable. A lot of brands for a thick sweatshirt like this would charge a lot more. And this one just says Adenola Sport Active Lifestyle. Out of these sweatshirts, I really like both of them. They're a very different look. I like that this one is not heavily branded and this is a definitely a different color and with that varsity kind of lettering. So I really, I like both of these for sure. So here's the sweatshirt, you guys. So this is a size large. I did purposely shrink it just because it was really too big. Um, right now, still, there's quite a bit of extra fabric. I would prefer the size medium just because I noticed when I wanted to put on a leather jacket on top of this, there's just too much fabric in here and um, the sleeves didn't really go over this very nicely. But I don't mind this just, you know, if you're wearing just a sweatshirt alone now that I've shrunk it a little bit, but definitely I would stick to your true size in this. You don't need to size up. So one more casual item, and then I'll show you the activewear I picked up. So this I got in the size medium. This is a varsity tee. It just says, again, Adenola Sport, active lifestyle. The medium, I would say actually on me, is a little bit too big. The shoulders come out 
pretty far. So definitely know that this t-shirt has very wide shoulders. So that could be good or bad depending on your body type. I think I would just prefer it to be a little bit smaller, um, but it's okay because I plan on tucking it up. The material of this, I was really impressed. It's a very thick, heavy t-shirt. So again, I'm, I'm really impressed with the quality. The back is just plain. It's a nice heather gray. And I believe they have this in other colors. I just wanted to see their tees, but yeah, very impressed. It almost has the weight of a sweater. It's, it's really heavy, good quality. The arms here are definitely quite big too. So if you have bigger upper arms, you would probably like this tee for sure. And here's the t-shirt, you guys. So this is a size medium. I almost think the medium is a little bit too big on me because you can see the shoulders are, you know, longer than mine. And I have pretty broad shoulders. So I would say in this one, you definitely need to size down. I still like, I like how it looks. Maybe I'll try shrinking it. Um, but yeah, I just wish it was a little bit smaller there. But there is lots of room in the arms, so if that's something you're concerned with. So next up, I'll show you one bra and then three pairs of leggings. So this bra is called the Tank Bra in dark gray. I'll show it to you. Looks like this. And the back just says Adenola there. So for this one, I was looking up reviews on YouTube and reading um, the reviews on their website. And pretty much everyone, especially on YouTube, very petite women were saying they wish they would have sized up. And because I have a quite a large chest, I was thinking, okay, no, I definitely need to size up. So like I said, in Nike sports bras, I'm always a size large. Um, for reference, my I think my bra size has changed. I feel like my chest has gotten like more full. So I would say, in the past, I always would wear a 34D or 36C. Now my cup size, it's probably almost like double D, I think. So my chest is very full. So I find the extra large fits me very well. I'm glad I went with the extra large. I just would have preferred if the straps were adjustable. Um, it kind of makes it look a little bit cheap just how it's sewn i feel i feel to be honest this looks better if you have a smaller chest but i wanted to give it a try online i think it was a little deceiving because the girl had a small chest i thought this would have come up a little bit higher but on me um i would say this is the only piece i wouldn't repurchase all the other things i definitely i would get again okay so here's the top you guys i'm glad i got the extra large just because my chest is pretty big i, I definitely need it there are um, those pads in there right now. I might take them out, but they're pretty thick. The only thing I would say that would be great is if the straps were adjustable, just so I can make it a little bit tighter, just because I don't like showing any cleavage or anything, especially at the gym. Um, but other than that, it fits really nice. And I'll try and show you the back. And there's the back for you guys. I do like how the back fits. Again, I just wish the straps were adjustable. That would have been a nice little feature. So at Selfridges, I tried these on. These are their ultimate legging in black. And I believe there they were like 40 pounds, which I thought was pretty good. I got them in tall and they're just their classic black legging. So I would say the medium in this fits the same as a Lululemon Align pant in a size six US. So this material is more compressive. So if you have any um, kind of like running tights from Lululemon, this is more like that type of material. It has a slight sheen. The great thing about this is though, this material will never pill, which is amazing. So it just has Adenola there. The back just kind of dips down slightly like that. So I got the medium in these. Um, what's good is that they have no seam up the front. So no, you know what? and no seam down the side. So if you do have big, bigger legs, the seams don't really dig in anywhere. I will say the seam around the waist here is pretty thick. If you have bigger hips and thighs like me, it kind of like digs in just slightly there, but it's okay. I'm doing a 75 hard challenge right now. So I probably just, I know in my body, I will lose weight there, but these are great. Um, the medium in this black, it doesn't slide down or anything. Done leg workouts, upper body workouts, and I've just worn these casually as well now. And yeah, I really like them. And for the price point, I think they're a very good quality and they're opaque. They're not see-through at all. But because I like those black ones, I wanted to get the same pair in gray to match this bra. Because because I've never had a pair of leggings in this color before, I was a little afraid. I didn't know if maybe the lighter color will be see-through. Because they feel very compressive, I thought, you know, maybe I'll size up to the large in these just to see the difference. And then also I can tell you guys the difference. So I find um, through the leg, I 
don't really notice much different at all. I have bigger lower body, so I feel like the large in the leg is fine. Now, when I put these on, I find the waist is just a bit too big. So what starts to happen is they slide down a bit and because it's kind of like a silky material, it starts rolling and that doesn't happen with the black ones. So I read some reviews online and I don't agree with it for my body type. People were saying if it rolls down, it's too small for you. But personally, I've never had that happen with any leggings. Like if my leggings fall down and roll, it's because they're too big, which I think for me makes more sense. But I guess maybe if your body is opposite of mine, like maybe you carry more weight in your stomach, but you have skinnier legs, maybe that might happen. For me, because not, I'm not saying my stomach is small or anything, but my waist is definitely like at my belly button smaller than my hips and thighs for sure. So I just think I have to get a more compressive legging. So with me, I think it's better to always size down. That's just my opinion for my body though. But these though, I definitely, I don't like the fit of them. I should have got the medium for sure. It's just, I can tell it's going to annoy me. Unfortunately, I probably won't be able to wear the large to the gym. I'll just maybe keep these for casual wear or maybe I can wear them just to go walking in. Yeah, I can show you the top of the leggings. I know they don't look like it, but they are a bit loose and they're just like sliding down like that and then they're kind of rolling over. I do actually like the gray color. It doesn't seem see-through at all. I just feel from my skin tone, it maybe washes me out a little bit, but I would recommend these. Just make sure to get your true to size. I will show you the size difference and there's not much of a difference between the medium and the large, but just that little bit in the waist makes a difference for me. Last but not least, I got their ultimate wrap over leggings in midnight blue. I got these in a size large and I got them in the tall length. So the reason I got a large in these is because people on Line, we're saying the crossover ones fit a bit smaller and also one lady was saying that was like around my size she was saying she felt like this blue color was a little more see-through so the large to be honest these fit almost just like the black medium i find and i'll show you on the table there's barely any difference in the waist so i would say if you're in doubt with the crossover legging size up and just take your true size in the ultimate legging I prefer, I think, how the waistline of this goes. I used to have a Lululemon uh, pair of leggings like this. They were black and I just wore them so much I had to get rid of them. They were kind of destroyed, but I just find it just flatters your waist. It kind of tapers your waist a bit. I really like this midnight blue color. I feel like this is a good basic, but it's not black obviously, but it still pairs really well with a lot of things. And I find this very flattering. So these are the midnight blue leggings. So you can see just the waistband is a little bit different. I think I prefer the waistband on these just because it kind of tapers your waist. And the back comes up pretty high again. So I just wanted to show you a difference in the sizing. So the black ones are a size medium in tall and the large in the blue, they're also in tall. So I have them lined up here. So medium and large. So the large is only a tiny, tiny bit bigger. So it's it's essentially pretty much the same size. And the legs though, the thighs do look a little bit bigger on the blue for sure through here, but not, not much of a difference at the waist. So overall, I'm really happy I've tried this brand. This is definitely going to be one of my new favorites. It's just a shame that all their stuff is always sold out. It's kind of like skims, but definitely sign up um, for their email, their mailing list. Oh, and I will say too, I'm in Switzerland now. I ordered their stuff and they ship it DHL. I did not have to pay any extra duties and it got here within... I think basically like one to two business days. So it came really quick. So I was happy about that as well. And I looked up who started this company. It was actually a man. It just surprised me because I would have thought this is like female founded. But yeah, overall though, I'm really pleased with everything I got. And until next time, bye guys. Thanks for watching.